everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show how you can create vm instance using instance template so before creating uh, a vm using an instance template let's understand what is this instance template with instance templates you can define a set of standard configuration options that can be used to quickly and easily create new vm instances with the same configuration so let's take a closer look at how instance templates work First, you will need to log into your GCP console and navigate to the Compute Engine section. From there, you can access the Instance Template page. On the Instance Template page, if you have already created any Instance Templates, it will list over here. If there are no Instance Template created, you can click on Create a new Instance Template. Here under Compute Engine, click on Instance Templates. Here, click on Create Instance Template. You can add labels if you want. But please note that the labels you define in this instance templates are applied to all the instances that are created from this instance template. And these labels do not apply only to the instance template itself. So I will not add any labels here. Next you can scroll down to machine configuration. Under machine configuration you can configure your machine family in the series. So here I have selected general purpose and the series it uh, I have selected E2 and the machine type I have kept it as E2 medium. So you can configure this um, uh, based on your requirement. Since this instance template is a global resource, it is not bound to any zone or a region. And one of the important settings in an instance template is a specification of the display device for the VM instance. So display device is nothing but a virtual hardware component that provides a graphical display interface for your VM instance. So it allows um, you to interact with the instance through a graphical user interface and access the application or services that requires graphical output. If you want to enable display device to a VM instance, you can check this option. So if you want to create an instance template with a confidential VM, you can do so. So currently so only the Ubuntu 18.0.4 LTS and Ubuntu 20.04 LTS images support the confidential VMs. With confidential VMs, you can be confident that your sensitive data is protected against unauthorized access even from insiders with root level access. So this can help you meet regulatory and compliance requirements as well as protect your business from data breaches and other security threats. So currently these confi confidential VM services cannot be used with this VM instance. So you can create um, instance template with the confidential uh, VM only for specific uh, image. So this service is disabled on this VM instance. So if you click on enable, you can see which series this feature is available. So if you are like creating um, VM instance in the machine type N2D standard. So only for this co specific configuration, you can use this confidential VM service. So for A2 series, it is not supported. So if you select N2D, click on Enable. You can use this uh, service only for N2D series. So if you click on Enable, all these changes will be applied. Towards your right hand side, you can see the cost estimate for this specific um, configuration. It's confidential VM service only for specific machine type series which is N2D and the machine type N2D standard. The boot disk, it supports Ubuntu 18 uh, and Ubuntu 20.04 LTS version. So I do not want to have any confidential VM service uh, in my instance template. So I will click on disable. Here I will be changing it back to E2 series. And the new cost uh, estimate has been updated. If you want to deploy a container image to a VM instance, you can click on this option and uh, update the values over here, the container image, all these details you can update here and configure it. Under boot disk, you can uh, select the operating system you want. If you click on operating system, you, here you can see there are different operating system listed here. So whatever operating system you want, you can select that. Provide the size here. Boot disk type you can select here. You have four options available. Like whatever uh, disk type you want, you can select your update the size, then click on select. Under identity and API access, I will be allowing the default access. Under firewall, you can select the type of uh, network traffic you want to allow. I'll be selecting allow HTTP traffic. Under advanced options, you can find networking disk security management sole tenancy. If you want to customize your template further, you can do so. So here under networking, you can uh, add your uh, network interface. 
under management you can add your startup script so here under automation i have added some uh, startup script so once my vm instance is created i want to set up a http web server on that vm instance so i have written some startup script and i have added you so whenever a vm instance is created and started this startup script will get executed this is an option you can leave it as is to sum up i have provided a name to my instance template i have not added any labels here i don't want any labels to my vm instance but in your case if you want to add labels to your vm instance you can do so by clicking on add labels and adding the labels and the machine configuration I have selected the general purpose and under series I have selected the e2 series and the machine type i am keeping it as e2 medium and i am enabling this display device not deploying any container on my vm instance so i have not selected this option so under boot disk i am using the debian image under identity and api access i am using the service account compute engine default service account and uh, i am keeping the allow default access under firewall i have selected the allow http traffic under advanced option under management i have added a script so once my vm is created and started it will install the apache http web server so these are the configurations i have in my instance template here click on create so here you can see the instance template is created and it is using the machine type e2 medium and the image it is using debian image disk type it is a balanced persistent disk now if you want to create a uh, vm out of this instance template you can click on vm instance here you can click on create instance when you click on create instance it will provide you different option to create an vm instance so previously we used to create a vm instance by providing all these details over here but now we'll be creating a instance using a template so here you can click on new vm instance from template so when you click on this it will provide you this template whatever template is available it will list over here so you can select this template and click on continue so we are creating a vm instance from a template so here you can see source template it is showing it as my instance template so this is what i had created here under name it will be the name of your uh, vm instance you can uh, provide a name to your vm instance name should be in lower case next you need to provide the region and zone so when we created our instance template we didn't add region or zone over there because instance template is a global resource since we'll be creating uh, vms across like multiple uh, regions we cannot specify zone or region in an instance template but when we are creating a vm instance out of this template here we have a option to select the region and zone so i want my instance template to be created in us central so i'll be selecting that region and zone here under machine configuration it is already updated with the instance template values like since we had uh, selected that instance template so whatever values we have provided over there it's automatically updated you and the boot disk it has taken whatever uh, we have defined in our instance template so here you can click on create this will create your vm instance it's creating a instance here now the instance is created you click on this instance so here you can see the instance details like um, the status of the instance it is running here you can see the under machine configuration uh, we had selected e2 medium uh, so all these details you can see here like whatever we have uh, provided in the our instance template it has taken the same if you go back to instance so we had provided some custom script uh, to install apache http web server on this instance so let's check if it is installed or not so if you click on external ipo so here you can see hello there message once a vm got created it had uh, installed the http web server and uh, updated the index.html file with the hello there message so this we had uh, provided in the our instance template startup script if we go back to our instance template so here you can see under custom metadata there is a startup script which is getting executed once the vm is uh, created so it has performed those uh, steps like installing the http web server and uh, updating the index.html file with the hello there message so that's it for today's video in today's video we learned how to create vm instance from instance template if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content thank you all for watching see you in the next video